Hi, you are about to view a presentation about how Global GAP certification aligns with the Walmart U.S. position on pollinator health and IPM practices. This recording is from June 2021. My name is Robin Rose and I am the Key Account Manager for Global GAP North America. Global GAP is an independent organization based in Cologne, Germany with representatives worldwide. We collaborate with supply chain stakeholders to foster the global adoption of safe, socially, and environmentally responsible farming practices. We offer industry-leading, cost-effective, and value-adding certification and benchmarking solutions globally. We are proud to announce that Walmart has identified certification to the Global Gap Integrated Farm Assurance Standard as a way for Walmart U.S. suppliers to meet the new requirements on pollinator health practices. Let's take a look at what this new Walmart policy, called the 2020 Walmart U.S. Pollinator Health Position, says. To quote from the Walmart website, In 2020, Walmart committed to becoming a regenerative company. As part of this commitment, Walmart and the Walmart Foundation aim to help protect, manage, or restore at least 50 million acres of land and 1 million square miles of ocean by 2030. They go on to say, as part of our commitment to protect and restore natural resources involved in production of the products we sell, Walmart U.S. is taking these initial steps to promote pollinator health. 1. Walmart U.S. will source 100% of the fresh produce and floral we sell in our in-store produce department from suppliers that adopt integrated pest management practices as verified by a third party by 2025. End quote. The entirety of this policy can be found on the Walmart corporate website at the URL listed here. So what does the Walmart requirement to quote, adopt integrated pest management practices as verified by a third party, end quote, mean in practice? Walmart put forth the criteria, including eight IPM strategies, which they use to evaluate third party verification programs of IPM practices. These strategies include, one, pest prevention, two, pest monitoring, three, key pest identification, four, economic threshold use, five, non-chemical strategy integration, six, lower risk pesticide prioritization, seven, pesticide resistance mitigation, and eight, record keeping. According to Walmart, these criteria stem from science-based principles that are widely accepted by IPM experts, governments, and agricultural practitioners. Global Gap submitted our Integrated Farm Assurance, or IFA, standard version 5.3 GFS, all farm crop space for evaluation by Walmart's representatives to these criteria. To facilitate the recognition of Global Gap certification by Walmart, we identified each of the control points and compliance criteria in the IFA standard that required the IPM strategies that Walmart had identified. On the table shown on this slide and the next, you can see the IPM strategy on the left and the Global Gap IFA control point or compliance criteria on the right. For some strategies, there were multiple corresponding IFA control points or compliance criteria, which address specific areas of the requirement. As an example, one of the Walmart criteria is about pest monitoring. The Global Gap IFA standard in the crop space section 6.3 requires that producers show evidence of pest observation and monitoring, which is to be demonstrated by the producer showing evidence of using at least two observation or monitoring activities per crop to determine when and to what extent pests and their natural enemies are present and to use this information to plan what pest management techniques are used. Here are some further details of the Walmart IPM strategies and the relevant Global Gap IFA standard control points and compliance criteria that correspond. These include such control points as considering non-chemical approaches to pest control where possible and keeping complete application records of all pesticides and fertilizers, among others. The IPM Institute of North America, on behalf of Walmart, reviewed these global gap requirements and compared them to the Walmart criteria. 
The end result was that our standards were found to meet the Walmart criteria and the current Global Gap IFA certification standards for fruit and vegetables and flowers and ornamentals were included in the list of Walmart's approved certification programs for protecting pollinators through verifying IPM adoption. This listing of Global Gap as an approved certification program is quoted directly from the Walmart corporate website policies page at the URL listed here. So what does Walmart's approval of Global Gap certification mean for farmers, packers, and shippers around the globe? It means that for producers whose produce or floral products are shipped to Walmart US, they can demonstrate their compliance with the Walmart position on pollinator health protection in their supply chain through certification to any of the following versions of the Global Gap IFA standard. IFA flowers and ornamentals version 5.2, IFA fruit and vegetables versions 5.3 GFS or by version 5.4 GFS, and the upcoming IFA fruit and vegetables or flowers and ornamentals version six, which is anticipated to be published in 2022. We are very pleased to be recognized by Walmart and for Global Gap certified producers around the globe to be recognized for their efforts and dedication. If you have any questions about Global Gap standards or certification, please contact standard underscore support at globalgap.org or your local key account manager. For questions about the Walmart US pollinator health position, please see Walmart's website at corporate.walmart.com backslash policies, hashtag Walmart dash U dash S dash pollinator dash health dash position. Thank you so much for your time and attention.